There are many times when certain words in your document require small letters at the top, that superscript, or the bottom, subscript, of the line of text. This is especially common for mathematical text, chemical formula, or something as simple as dates. There are three ways you can create subscripts and superscripts in Google Docs. One is using the menu system. The other is by using keyboard shortcuts. And finally, you can do it by using the special characters chart. To use the menu system, highlight the text that you want to convert to superscript. Now, select format from the menu. Select text and then select superscript. Once selected, you'll see the highlighted text convert to superscript format. You can do this for a single character, or you could select an entire line and convert it to superscript. Most of the time though, this format is only used for single characters. The keyboard shortcut for superscript is control and the period, and the character will immediately update to superscript. You can also undo superscript formatting by selecting the same superscript menu option again. You'll see the highlighted superscript text convert back to normal. Finally, you can add superscript text to your document using the special characters chart. To do this, select insert and then select special characters. In the special characters window, enter superscript in the search field. You'll see a list of common characters used as superscript characters. When you select any of the choices, it'll insert the superscript character into the document. Creating subscript formatting in Google Docs is almost identical to creating superscript formatting. You can create subscript text in Google Docs using the menu system in exactly the same way. Simply highlight the text that you want to convert to subscript. Then select format from the menu. Then select text and then subscript. Just like with superscript, you can convert the formatting for a single character or an entire line of text. In most cases, you'll only be using it for a single character. However, the entire line formatted to subscript is useful for things like adding comments under a paragraph or at the bottom of a page. An even easier way to implement this is to select the text and then use the Google Docs keyboard shortcut for subscript. This shortcut is control and comma, then the character will immediately update to subscript. You can also undo the subscript formatting by selecting the same subscript menu option again. Just as with superscript, you can add subscript text to your document using special characters as well. Select insert from the menu and then select special characters. In the special characters window, enter subscript in the search field. This will display a list of subscript characters. When you select any of the choices, it will insert the subscript character into the document where you've placed your cursor. That's all you need to know. Now you don't have to wonder how those tiny letters are created in Google Docs. Get ready to blow away your math or science teacher. See you next time.